With the exception of people, the common house mouse is the most successful mammal in the world. It breeds rapidly, survives on a broad variety of food, requires very little water, and can adapt to nearly any habitat. Unfortunately for people and mice, the mouse is a vector for disease. In addition, the presence of mice can create unhealthy indoor environments. Mouse urine contains a protein that volatilizes and becomes airborne, and this can trigger asthma for many people. A lot of the times uh, what triggers asthma in people is the uh, rodent's hair. Mice in general, uh, they shed a lot of uh, hair and with that they excrete urine and as that gets stirred up into the air, now you have to have a pretty good sized population for that to happen. But if the population continues to grow, it gets airborne and as it gets airborne, those people are asthmatic, pick that up and it's an allergenic to them at that point. It's for reasons like these that the acceptable indoor pest threshold for mice is set at zero. Just like people, mice like comfortable indoor environments and are drawn to spaces that are maintained at favorable temperatures and which contain edible items. This means that if your building is poorly sealed, it is highly vulnerable to mouse invasion. To make matters more difficult, mice are skilled at finding entry points. They are excellent climbers and can run vertically up certain surfaces. They can move along wires, utility cables, or ropes, and can jump up to 12 inches. And they can squeeze through incredibly small openings. A hole as big as a dime, or a crack the width of a pencil, is a possible mouse entry point. If you can take the end of your little finger and stick it in a hole, a mouse can get in. So they're very opportunic. They'll smell things, they'll smell the warmth, and as they do, if they can smell it, they can normally get into it, because rodents are the only thing that can modify your home. Their incisors chew the front two teeth, and if they think they can get in, they'll start chewing on it until they can get in. So they can make a hole if they need to. The best way to stop mice from entering your building is to inspect for access points like these and seal them up wherever possible. Focus your efforts in the following areas. Doors are an easy and obvious entry point. Brush type door sweeps are recommended for swinging doors. They form a tight seal on regular surfaces and remain flexible over a wide temperature range. The brushes are easy and inexpensive to replace, as the brush can be removed from its base. For overhead doors, like those on garages, use compression seals. Metal seals are best. Rubber and plastic seals will also work, but they can deteriorate over time and with much use. Inspect vents, pipes, and other conduits going through walls. To deter mice from climbing pipes, brush on a 12-inch band of high-gloss paint around the pipe. This creates a slick surface. Stuff large holes and cracks with copper mesh, and seal crevices with silicone or acrylic urethane product. Fix damaged foundations and walls with cement or another appropriate material. And repair gaps around the frames of screens and louvers. They should always be kept tightly sealed. For more information about how to solve an existing mouse problem, eliminate harborage, or safely handle dead mice, please see NCAP's other videos.